Hey Gemini, this is your five aspects of yourself reading for December 2021. Gemini, December 2021. Nine of discs in reverse for spiritual aspect of your life. It starts star for the intellectual. Amon Emperor for physical. Eight of Wands for social. And Six of Swords for emotional. Angel of Rhea message for Gemini, December 2021. Azrael, Angel of Death. Mausolea message for Gemini, December 2021. Hades, Lord of Riches. Enchanted Map message for Gemini, December 2021. Peaks of joy. Nine of this in reverse, ill gotten gains, crassness, covetousness, vulgarity of display, mismanagement, enterprise and difficulty, theft. Huh, spiritually. Your soul has uh, gotten stuff it maybe shouldn't have gotten. Spiritually, you've done. Potentially, you've done things that uh, may have benefited you, but were not so benevolent or malevolent. This management, enterprising difficulty. Hmm. I'm looking down here at your physical. This might have to do with health, money, materialistic. Making sure you have a luxurious life. Not really practicing what you preach, potentially. 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 Uh, six of Swords, so your emotions. Uh, I see you as the thief over there, but. Or the. The, the threat demanding money for what you can potentially do. Or you know, perceiving that you can do. But, you know, you know, actually, you do have the star, so it's not all bad, but Hades over here, Lord of Riches. Maybe it's because you want peaks of joy. But you got an angel of death here. Uh, I, I see a conflict between two sides of your Gemini twin. One side's like, we ju we're justifying balancing the dark and light and doing what we got to do. And the other side's like, hey, maybe you should uh, be a little generous here coming up when you have the chance. I don't know, Gemini. Something saying you're not spiritually as um, you portray to be. Ishtar, star, hope, divine gift, cleansing of the soul, renewal of purpose, destiny, guiding light, a wish granted, guardian angel. Maybe that's why I was saying what I was saying about the spiritual. Because of the cleansing of the soul. So you're intellectually, you're smart. You know what you're talking about most of the time. Almost always. But spiritually, you're kind of a hypocrite. Um, you're not as you portray or you are in front of the camera. Uh, behind the scenes and when the closed doors. You might be laughing at people who believe you. Or you're just like, oh, it's true, but ha, these people are a joke. They're just doing it for the money. Or I don't know. So I'm not saying that's necessarily completely true. Because you are a Gemini twin, so that's why I say the conflict between the two sides. So it's kind of true. It's kind of not true. Like 50-50, right? 
Um, so I understand. Um, my grandma was is a Gemini, and she raised most of me, half my life growing up. So, and I, I trust me, I've seen her hypocritical, very much so. Like growing up, I thought the world of her, and then I realized when I got older, oh, what you did? What? Uh, who? Why? How could you? You know what I mean? Like stuff like that. Emperor. Amon, in reverse, instability, false start, impractical idea, lack of foundation, wasted force, inertia, heaviness, rigidity of mind, loss, opportunity, anxiety, failure to perform, impotence. So December, financially, health, or material, or your home life, or some 3D realm kind of aspect of your life, it is not stable. So... And it's not a good time to start things in that aspect of your life. Um, sit by the fire and be cozy. Reflect on what I'm trying to tell you. Eight of Wands, sudden force with action, movement, need for haste, important communication, revelation, cause for help. Uh, socially, things are just be all over the place and you're going to have a hard time keeping up, keeping track. A lot going on, a lot of people doing things and just like, wait, whoa, wait, why aren't you late? Like, whoa, what happened? I thought I, uh, 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 lack of, uh, uh. not gonna be like it was in November. You're down here, you're this pyramid in December. These are all the salt, the people doing stuff, crossing, crisscrossing their energy, doing stuff, maybe fighting two sides, whatever, and you're like, wait, hell, oh, hey, hey, and you're. Two sides inside of you are fighting as well. You're the spiritual, you're the intellectual. Six of Swords, resolution, solution, labor, commission, task, confession, confession, declaration, agent, envoy, hired hand, patience. So maybe this is both sides of you. <laughs> and being reflected over here with the social. And the physical, and you understand the duality here that you're dealing with. It looks like December is going to be like a reflection mirror back at you kind of month. So, but you're like peaks of joy, like got yeah, 80s Lord of Riches and Angel of Death over there. Azrael, Angel of Death, the assistant to man's creation and the architect of the human body. Azrael stands alone on the shores of mortality, helping remove the souls from the bodies of dying men, like precious seeds from the rotting core of an apple. The grim harvest is not to be feared, but demands respect as few other things in time and space. From under the shroud of purpose come the hands of Azrael. O death, O death, come to lay your hands upon me. O death, O death, unfurl your fingers from my destiny. O death. Do not search here or there, here or there. It will reveal itself in time. It will be, it will breach the surface for a moment. It will take you and pull you under. You will know and knowledge, you will know, and the knowledge you will, will fall, will fill you, even as it consumes your soul. The signs are an apple, the ocean, a skull. So iPhones, Apple products, a lot of you people out there love the apple, even though it was corrupted and uh, used human labor, sweatshops to develop your iPhone. And you're like, oh, well, la, 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 la. I'm never had an apple product, never will. Hades, Lord of Riches, unlike the de decadent, fickle gods of Olympus, Hades cares more for the people under his role than he does for his own pleasure. He endures their sneers and abuses with equanimity, focused on his goals and his responsibilities, knowing that eventually all will come to an end in his realm. Hades reminds us to ignore petty, unworthy distractions, and to focus on that which will make a real difference in the world. This is found in equanimity, wisdom, inevitability, uh, physical life, materialistic things, luxury, yeah, you, oh, I feel so great having this wonderful hotel or this house. And 
You haven't struggled enough. Peace of joy. Your life is filled with happiness, so share it with others. Joy is yours today, no matter what your inquiry. You will be happy with the results. You're coming closer to a sense of achievement, and you've worked hard for it. You're surrounded by true companions and events that are synchronistically arranged to bring you to the next level of your life. The world is singing a beautiful harmony. Life is exhilarating and hopeful. Let gratitude fill your heart and remember to share your happiness. Joy is contagious. Do you rely too heavily on material achievements when you ask us how happy you are? Perhaps you say, I'll be happy when I meet the right love or make the right amount of money, reach my ideal weight, and so on. Why wait to arrive at the perfect destination before allowing yourself to experience sheer delight? This is a day for joy. Talk, take a walk, listen to the songbird, scratch a kitty's head, play with the dog, look at a baby, and be in awe of life, which leads to a true sense of bliss. Be alive, be grateful, and know that happiness is an inside job. Plus, all of those things, you don't have to pay money for them. Anybody can have those things. So, you know, going outside and listening to songbirds, scratching a kitty's head, you find somebody who has a kitty if you don't got one. Play with a dog, same thing. Look at a baby, same thing. If someone ain't got a baby, or you don't got a baby, there's plenty of people who do. Be in awe of life. And that was your reading, Gemini. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next month.